What? The Intratech hype is over? And the agent is not dead yet? But Robin, what have you been telling us over the last years? Well, at this year's ITC, I learned three things and I'm happy to share them with you. So we are super exciting to be official partners of this year's InchaTech conference in the beautiful and exciting city of Las Vegas. But we did not have a lot of time to party or to gamble, but we were there for the largest gathering of insurance professionals from around the world. Over 7,000 people met at the MGM Grand Convention Center. Last year I was there alone and I swore to myself, next time you're going to arrive with the team because the opportunities and the potential of ITC are gigantic. So this year I arrived with four people. Uh, we had Ben, our cameraman, thank you very much. We had Michelle, Aaron and Jamie who did an amazing job supporting digital scouting on the ground. And for ITC 2020, I'm even thinking about getting more people on board. So what makes ITC so special? You have the opportunity to meet the movers and shakers, the thought leaders, the influencers, the decision makers from the insurance industry from all around the world in one place. A lot of meetings are pre-scheduled, scheduled, but also random meetings on the hall floors. People you did not talk to for a year or half a year, you can meet, you can talk to. It is an amazing opportunity. And this are our business cards. Over a hundred meetings we had at this year's ITC. Out of these hundred exciting meetings, I was super happy to meet finally the team of Glassbox and Inchotech that has come on the radar over the last few months. Also Bold Penguin, I really love the marketing and videos you guys are doing and I finally got what your business model is, super exciting and I was super happy to meet the sales and investor legend Karsten Maschmeyer. And one thing about ITC, you have a ton of meetings and you don't make it to everybody because you're running around trying to find your next meeting partner. So I'm super sorry for everybody I missed, it's totally my fault. One thing we should not forget that even though the ITC is super exciting with panels, with keynotes, with a lot of meetings, we all still need to work on our day jobs we have back home. So besides meetings, panels, keynotes, you have a lot of calls and mails to answer. So ITC is super exhausting. Despite of a ninja rockstar team we had on the location, I still was exhausted all the time, even though I skipped all parties, well almost all, and it was the MGM Grand and ITC coffee that made me survive those three days. So here are the four things I learned. Trend number one. First, the InsurTech hype is over. But what does it mean? Of course, InsurTech startups are continuing to contributing to the insurance industry. Insurers are still looking for innovations and new use cases, business cases, technology and partners around the world. That did not change, but what changed is two, three, four years ago, everybody was excited and it was a very small community. And what we see right now that InsurTech innovation is the new normal. You have so many of use cases, collaborations, acquisitions, the pivoting and new products and digital products and services. That, that is the new normal in the insurance industry. So while two, three, four years ago, it was super risky for a decision maker in the insurance industry to try out a corporation with a startup or to try something new out, now it's the new normal and now a lot of decision makers can say, well, you know, we have 27 examples of this around the world, so let's try this out too. Trend number two. Another topic that was around the halls of ITC is the agent and broker is not dead yet. No, 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 no. Only because a lot of InsurTech and incumbents are re-evaluating their distribution strategy and coming again to brokers and agents, this does not mean that brokers and agents do not need to change. While a lot agreed that the agent and broker is not dead, all also agreed on that 
the agents and brokers need to leverage technology, need to leverage um, faster, better processes in uh, the back end, but also in the front end, and to become on the radar of their customers in a more frequent fashion. So if you're an agent or a broker, this is good news because your partners are still out there and want to do business with you. But on the other hand, it's super important to get the act together and to become faster, better, and closer to the customer's heart. Trend number three. The next trend is the pivoting of a lot of insurtech startups from B to C to B to B or B to B to C. This does not mean that the incumbents have won and now have a new pool of service providers. Trend number four. There are a lot of attackers out there still wanting to acquire the customers cheaper or to cut down the combined ratio with uh, applying new technology. So it's still possible that some incumbent or some startup or tech company or reinsurer pop up with a new solution, crushing and disrupting the industry. Another topic was how to use attention hacking as insurer or as intratech. So attention hacking can increase the effectiveness of sales managers, managing agents and brokers out there in the field. It can replace the strategy and processes of jumping into the car, driving around, visiting agents and brokers, um, and drinking their coffee. Actually, it's a good strategy to replace the KPI of visiting your agent and broker with the KPI of reaching the agent and broker. And there are a lot of tactics and tools out there how to do it. The main strategy, in my view, is to build up your sales managers as many influencers in their agent and broker community. And on the other hand, give your agents and brokers the opportunity and the tools and tactics to build them up to mini influencers, micro influencers in their respective communities so that they don't need to run around and run after each customer, but that they are actually in a position where the customer comes to them. And attention hacking can help to share the stories of an incumbent really pushing forward to do the best for uh, employees, agent brokers, and of course, the customer. So the dead of the hype, the survival of the agent, B2B2C, and attention hacking were the four trends of this ITC. One last thing I would like to share, a big thank you to the ITC team, Samara, Karibo, Jeff, for letting us be there and to provide one of the most exciting platforms for decision makers, movers and shakers, influencers and thought leaders from around the world to come together and to exchange best practices and lessons learned. Thank you very much and let's hear what Aaron has to say. So this was your first insurance event. How are we? You guys are ridiculously, incredibly talented and amazing. I had a blast. I want to come back. 2020, Vegas. You, me, we're doing it. ICT 2020, have fun, have fun guys. <laughs>